gosh, three gosh, the unlikely leader. The unlikely leader, three gosh. It is contest season once again. Don't you love it? This is when we all get to experience fear. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters and contestants. Maybe I'm wrong about that because we are all Toastmasters and Toastmasters builds leaders and leaders are strong. We don't get scared because of contests. Do we? I'd really like to know what you think leadership means. What are the qualities that a good leader should display? If you could please chat into your chat box over here, not the contestants, but the, but the others. What do you think the qualities of a good leader are? Let us take 10 seconds to quickly type something in, if you would oblige me over here, please. What qualities do you think a good leader has? Great communicator, that's good. Humbleness, that's great, I love that. Organized and planner, trustworthy, very nice. Aspires, very nice. How about uh, a, a good looking, a handsome, tall, things like that? <laughs> All right, they are not a priority over here, which is great. Now, no one has said that lead by example is great. Empathetic. Okay, you're stealing my thunder over here. So maybe we should stop, <laughs> stop pinging all these things in then. Nobody has said, though, that a leader can be shy. So how about the shy people in the world out there? Should they not be leaders? Or should they not be considered as leaders? Maybe what we should do is petition Toastmasters International and say, please put up a banner on your first page, the landing page saying, shy people not welcome. Because shy people are not leaders. Should we do that? Now, I wish that I had that banner when I was hiring for my team, my client-facing team. And I hired this young, five feet tall, petite, slim lady whose name was... Uh, we will call her Janet, not her real name. When I hired Janet, I didn't know that she didn't have the ability of taking a client-facing role without any client-facing skills, so as to say. Janet was very shy. She didn't speak up in client, client meetings. She left all the communications to one of her teammates, seven feet tall, seven feet wide, seven feet deep. You get the picture, the guy was big. He was strong. Leaders are strong. This guy took the limelight in every single call and Janet was nowhere in the scene. What would you do in a situation like this where you have someone in your team who just cannot perform? Have you ever seen this? I didn't know what to do at first. And then I saw that I was reflected in Janet. She wasn't a mirror, I'm not saying that. But like her, I was shy many years back. Like her, I didn't speak up in meetings. Like her. I lacked self-confidence. So I could relate to what she was feeling. And I decided that I would try to help her. So I sat her down and I talked to her. I said, hey, Janet, Trig, that's not my real name. I'm just kidding about that. So I said, why don't you speak up in these client calls? Are you afraid of making mistakes? Are you afraid of Mr. Big Seven Feet. Did you know that when he started, he used to make mistakes like you're doing? Oh, really? He did? Yes. All right. Can you do this for me? 
speak up in every client call going forward. Make mistakes if you have to, it's no big deal. I will be with you and I will help you through. Is that a deal or what? Can you do it? I can do it. I can make mistakes. <laughs> so she agreed to make mistakes and speak up. And she did just that. In every single client call going forward, she spoke up. In every single client call, she made mistakes. In every single client call, she learned. Fellow contestants, today, in this meeting, I want you to speak up. That is a requirement for the contest. You will probably make mistakes and that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you will learn from this contest. And that is what matters. At the end of 12 months, Janet was the subject matter expert in her area and the clients loved her. Mr. Seven Foot Tall was strong. Leaders are strong, but he wasn't a leader because he did nothing to help his own teammate develop. Leaders are strong, but leaders cannot call themselves leaders unless they are able to motivate people unless they are able to help people grow and realize their own potential. When we see people, we often see them as defensive, scared, doesn't speak like us, doesn't look like us. And all this forms a curtain, a blind beyond which we cannot see and we miss their true potential. A true leader will remove that blind away and see the true potential that the human being offers. A true leader will help that person to get that potential out and grow. And unless we do that, we cannot call ourselves leaders. So what can we do to become leaders to help people grow? Maybe somebody has helped you to overcome your weaknesses and grow. Maybe you have helped someone to overcome his or her weaknesses and grow. But we always have to challenge ourselves as Toastmasters, as leaders. What can we do to help people overcome their weaknesses and realize that they have the potential to do their best? For starters, I think what we should do is petition Toastmasters International to put up a banner on their first page saying, Shy people, welcome, because we know that you will be good leaders. What do you think of that? Ma'am, contest chair. <laughs>